Yeah, yeah welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, what is your uh, objective of first visit to Afghanistan? Well, it's my first visit as a minister in the British government. I've been here before as a UN official on a number of occasions. So, uh, my real purpose is to sort of make an assessment for myself to to catch up on what has happened in Afghanistan since I was last here. And the last time was just at the beginning of the provisional government at the end of 2001 and I can already see that despite all the difficulties there's been remarkable progress over those six years. Okay, thank you very much. So some people say that Britain and United States have a different of opinions fight against insurgency uh, in Afghanistan. So uh, what do you think about this? I don't think so. Uh, I, I think there's a pretty clear agreement that uh, we, we got to support the government and uh, the approach must be the government of Afghanistan's and both the UK and the US want to support that and back that. I think both of us recognize that there needs to be tough action in the South against uh, the insurgency but there also uh, the government needs to uh, push as hard as it can on political reconciliation with people and groups in the south and we think we're agreed on this approach. Uh, British have uh, 7,000 troops in Afghanistan so uh, they are based in Helmand province. So Helmand is one of non-secure province in Afghanistan. Why? Well that's why we're there because it's a problem area and we want it to be where we could be most useful to the government of Afghanistan. Uh, it's, I think, unstable for several reasons. First, it is a heartland of uh, the Taliban uh, organizing activities. Second, it's, I'm afraid, also uh, the, 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 the source of an awful lot of the opium now being uh, produced in the country. So this combination of political unrest and, and, and the criminal activities around drug production has made it a very dangerous part of the country. What is your plan to end insurgency in Afghanistan and well, how? Well, first it's to back the government. Only the government of Afghanistan can end the insurgency. Only Afghans can make peace with Afghans. But we will give the military support that's needed for that, while encouraging the government also to talk to as broad a range of Afghans as possible to try and reconcile them politically to this government. Uh, last question, if you tell me the increasing of opium in Afghanistan, especially in Helmand, where the British troops are based there, so what do you think? Uh, why this increasing and so, so world society is also uh, concerning about that? Well, the opium producers are taking advantage of the insurgency in Helmand. <coughs> in other parts of the country, uh, where there is much greater stability and security, opium production is down and legitimate farming is up as governance and law and order and development alternatives improve. We think that once the same conditions exist in Helmand, uh, opium production will decline there as well. I think it's okay.